right, you can go ahead and uh, take those buoys off there. Go ahead, D-buoy. So this is one of my lead instructors. He doesn't say a whole lot, so I'm going to be talking for him. Today we're going to be talking about the Orca Reload. That's your optimal reload combat applications. So we're going to be going over the Orca Speed, the Orca Attack, and the Orca Administrative Reloads today. Let's go ahead and get started there, boy. You got your buoys on there, boy? Yes, sir. All right, so first off, we're going to be demonstrating the Orca Administrative Reload. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on over here. Let me see that there rifle. All right, so first off, I want to show what he did and everything he did was absolutely perfect. So I want to start off by showing and see his safety is off. That's the way you want it to be. Because guess what? The battlefield ain't no safe space. So all you out there in your fancy pantsy colleges, you can go ahead and play with your Play-Doh up in your safe place somewhere else. This is the battlefield. Now, you saw, once he flipped that, that gun up, he caught that magazine in the air. He gave it his solid one, two, three second look and put that right back in, making sure he had bullets. So when he flipped that bad boy back around, he could go off and engage ISIS some more. All right, now let's move on. So we're gonna orchestrate here something that might be a little fast for y'all. So this is gonna be the Orca Speed Reload. Get it! Diggity-dog! That right there was a perfect Orca Speed Reload. Now, we're gonna show you what we spent the rest of our training budget on for this year with some extra super high motion, slow motion, speed shooting, reloading shit. Let's check it out. Once he realizes he is out of ammo, he's gonna flip out that magazine, shoot it straight up in the air like water coming out of an Orca's blowhole. He's gonna ID the magazine in the air and he's gonna hit it and get that shit out. Next, he's going to grab his fresh magazine, insert it right through the top, and flip right back in and neutralize his enemies. All right, so next up on the list, we're going to be showing off here the Orca Tactical Reload. Now, we're going to show off this real time, and then we're going to stop and break it down for you. Go ahead. Absolutely perfect. All right, let's break that down a little bit. So once he here realizes that he has engaged or they're neutralized all potential threats, he's gonna bring the gun into the Orca Flip, bring it into his workspace. He's gonna go to his magazine carrier here, otherwise known as the Gill Net, approved by Orca. He's gonna grab his magazine with both hands. Both magazines gonna take out the magazine there and insert it in from the top. Once it's firmly placed in, he's gonna replace his old magazine into the magazine carrier, come out of the Orca Flip, and potentially search and assess, or he's gonna engage any targets that are sitting there bleeding out on the ground. If you get yourself one of these ambidextrous magazine releases, uh, it really helps smooth out the process. Now, let's see what you've got, so we can give them an example. You've got yourself a Knox Armament, what in tarnation? It says stoner rifle on the side, boy. Why don't you get yourself one of them red, white, and blue hard-working American rifles instead of the one of them sitting on a couch smoking a doobie all day rifle? Sir. Boy, have you been hanging out sir, at one of them? Wa Washington hey, State, sir. What? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess marijuana is legal here. So, is that why you've been eating all the snacks all day? Hey! Before we let y'all go, we want to show you one more bonus. Now, you don't even have to pay us for this. Just subscribe. Anyway, so we're going to be showing you the Orca Porpoise Assessed. Why don't you go ahead and show us that. Now that right there was some quality searching and assessing. Let me go ahead and see that rifle. We'll kind of break it down for you folks at home one more time. Now that I got his rifle, I'm gonna do a demonstration about the porpoise assess that you saw my buddy there just do. So first off, when you punch it out and move it, you wanna walk and check forward just like an orca goes after a scrumptious seal line. Then you're gonna caress the ocean. Oh, sorry there. Uh, must be because I got myself a stoner rifle. Anyway, you wanna caress the waters like you're a beautiful orca going out of the whales, uh, the waters, sorry. A little dizzy still. And you wanna check, you may ask yourself, why would I check up? Well, I'll show you why. You see that right up there? That is the moon in the middle of the day. You tell me Martians don't exist, you are dead wrong. How do I know that they aren't going to start shooting some Death Star laser beam down at me? You boy, you tell you what, I'm going to have my rifle pointed that way. If I see lasers, I'm returning fire. 
Anyway, you're gonna finish it off after you do your assess with a little bit of lift and a little bit of right. And you wanna check below. Checking below is important because the ocean is deep. The ocean's real deep. Just like these eyes that you're looking at. And you don't know what's below you. It could be a great white. It could be cracking for all you know. All you need to know is you're a whale and you need to survive. And how you survive is you train with orca training. I'll tell you what, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Check us out. Get some valuable training from us at Orca.